What's up everybody? Today we're gonna go over instant film. Uh, now we're gonna talk about shooting with Polaroid's new One Step 2 camera. Uh, we're gonna go over shooting with the Fuji Instax wide camera, as well as the old LAN cameras, and a couple more 600 film cameras from the 80s and 90s. Now I've got about five different types of film. We're gonna go over what you can expect to see with some of these older cameras whenever you go out shooting, as well as the quality and the actual film print that you get at the end of your shot. Now for the shoot, I didn't really wanna go buy a bunch of old Polaroid cameras online, or I couldn't really. Uh, so I kind of just asked everybody in the office if anybody had anything, any old cameras lying around, bring them, and I'll try to make them work, see what film they can shoot with and if they're still working. And there were actually a decent amount of cameras that they brought up. Now Annie brought up her uh, Polaroid 600. It's a one step close up. So one thing John and I quickly figured out about these photos is that there's these little dots, circles, exposure circles on the film that I think uh, is from something to do with how the film is being pushed through or processed inside the camera. It's an old camera, so expect to kind of encounter unexpected little treats like this uh, if you're working with older cameras. Because uh, that first one was getting those weird circles in the shot, uh, I decided to use another one that Annie brought up, which was the Polaroid Sun 600. Released in 1983 and comes with a built-in flash, the camera has a 106 millimeter fixed focus plastic lens. Now the film we'll be shooting with, Polaroid 600. It comes in color and black and white, and brings the classic white frame with eight shots in the pack. This film works with 600 as well as I-type cameras. The ASA or film speed is 640 and is generally meant for outside photography. So for the second film and the second camera, uh, I decided to use the Polaroid One Step 2. Released in fall 2017, makes it Polaroid's newest camera release to date. With the minimum focus distance of two feet, the camera's improved viewfinder and high quality built-in flash make for the ideal landscape and portrait instant camera. And for the film that this camera shoots, Polaroid iType. Just like Polaroid 600, this film has an ASA of 640 and comes with eight shots. However, this film is specifically meant to not be shot with vintage cameras. So Polaroid wants you to shoot these with their new release. So in case you are following me on Instagram, you've already seen that I did post some of these Polaroids on there. Um, and so if you're curious as to how I scanned them for the video, um, I actually made a little DIY scanning plate uh, based on Matt Day's video. So he made a really quick, easy uh, DIY video on how to make this. Uh, it's very cheap. I'll include the link in the description below. Uh, check his video out, it's really good. All right. Now for the third camera, I use the Fuji Instax Wide. Fuji's monster of an instant camera features a big plastic body with a built-in flash and rear-mounted LCD that lets you know how many photos you've taken. With the focal zoom control in the lens, you can take any type of photo with this camera. For the film we'll be shooting, we're gonna use Fuji's Instax Wide Instant Film. This film is about 108 millimeters wide and the picture on the film is about 99 millimeters wide, so the photos are ideal for landscape photography.
Mamiya RZ67 with the Polaroid attachment. We're going to be using the discontinued Fujifilm FP100C. Now in terms of quality, this is going to be the best that you can get, but it's getting harder to find this film. Now I still wanted to shoot the SX70 film, uh, but I found this old camera called the Polaroid Pronto, and it says it shoots SX70, so I figured I'd give it a shot. I put the film in, and then it spit the dark slide out, so I thought it was working, and then, but nothing's, it's like it's firing, but nothing's happening. So, and there are no buttons to press to try to change it the settings or anything. So as you can see, it didn't work. Um, and I thought maybe it was because it needed a light bar or a flash bar uh, to put into the top. Maybe I thought that was it, uh, which I actually found one. The saga continues. I found this flash bulb bar in the bag that the camera came in. But it still didn't work. So because I still wanted to shoot the film, I figured it was time to go to a local camera shop. And so I walked in and said, hey, I just need a camera that can shoot SX-70 and that works. And so they handed me this little Polaroid camera. The Polaroid Time Zero One Step is an SX-70 LAN camera from the early 80s with a plastic lens that has an aperture of f14.6. Now for SX-70, these photos have an ASA of 160 and aren't meant for eye-type cameras. This film was built for the stellar SX-70 camera that's from the 70s and 80s. And we're going to go try right now. So I'll be right back. Now while I was out trying the new camera, I thought I'd bring this old 350 LAN camera with Fuji FP100C. The camera hadn't been used in I don't know how long, so I wasn't really sure if it would work or what would happen. All right, there it is. Let's try this one last time. Here it is. We'll see. Okay, so first picture, second picture. I don't know what happened. I think the first one got, they were all jammed in this camera and I just can't waste anymore. I don't know what to do. Anyway, let's try this one, I guess. But the SX-70 actually came out okay. All right. Okay, so uh, success and failure. Uh, so the SX-70 works. That's really good to know. Um, the LAN camera did not work. Big failure. Um, I don't know what's happening. I think it might be jamming. I'm not sure. I don't even know what I did wrong, but it didn't work and now I'm too scared to waste more film. This saga will continue, so make sure to subscribe. So if you guys have shot on the one Step 2 the Instax Wide, one of these 600 cameras, or maybe an SX-70, let me know what you think about the cameras, what you like best. Um, if anyone has any advice on what to do about the LAN camera and the instant film being jammed inside, uh, please let me know because I don't wanna keep wasting film I know it's a good camera. Maybe I do need to take it to the local film store and get it worked on. Um, but for now, uh, I'm gonna keep shooting on the One Step 2 in this SX-70 that I got because so far, this is actually my favorite picture I've taken for this video. Uh, so, yay for local camera stores. Support your local camera store. All right, that about does it. Again, hope you liked the video. Subscribe if you want more film-related content. I'm really getting into the film stuff, so. Like, subscribe, share if you want, and I'll see you in the next one.